first practice like today? Uh, it was good. I feel like we came out with uh, a high energy. Everybody knows what this game means to the state of Alabama and everybody um, who's played here before us. So we're definitely um, aware of that and uh, moving with a sense of urgency this week. I know you kind of handled revenge last year, but is there an extra kind of chip on your shoulder heading back to Neyland after you had to experience that? Definitely. Uh, last time we went there, we didn't come out on the a, on a, on a right end of things. So that's definitely the, a thing that the players that were there um, is still aware of. We kind of asked Ryan this, but how would you kind of rank the Alabama rivalries and just growing up in the state, just what, what were they to you growing up? Yeah, um, it's basically you with Alabama or you with nobody else. Um, that's kind of how I would describe it. So, and then as a player, that's kind of how it feels every game. Every game really feels like a, a rivalry game to us, but you know, this one and the tradition behind it definitely means a lot. Your freshman year, you scored a touchdown against Tennessee, right? Up yeah. In Oxville, just kind of, what do you remember about that game, and kind of what was that introduction to the rivalry like for you? Um, that game, um, it was kind of different because they had Pruitt there, so it was kind of different offenses mm -hmm. and um, a different team, uh, so to say, uh, opposed to having Coach Hupel there now. But um, for for COVID, it was still a great environment, and the last time I went, it was a great environment, so I expected to be the same. Are you itching to get a pick this season? I definitely, definitely. <laughs> As an older guy, what do you tell the, the younger guys that haven't experienced a road environment like you're going to see on Saturday? Um, to just be ready to go in there and execute. Uh, don't let the external factors bother you. But as a competitor, you, you're supposed to love moments like this and going into a place where uh, everybody hates you, nobody wants to see you win or walk out of there uh, victorious. And you just have to thrive for that and, and expect it and uh, go out there and execute it. There's been such an emphasis on turnovers. Do you feel like that's maybe caused people to maybe go for the ball first instead of making a tackle? It's something that uh, Kane was asked about. Um, it all depends. Um, playing a game of football is, is all reactionary and fast tempo. And sometimes you take your shots and sometimes you got to know when to take your shots and when not to take your shots. So I just think um, having a better situational awareness of maybe first guy make the tackle, second guy come in and punch, uh, it would be more of an emphasis. What stands out about Nika, their quarterback? Uh, he's a... He's a great young quarterback. He does a great job of uh, getting the ball to his playmakers, and he has a lot of velocity on the ball. He can throw the ball um, 70 yards through the air. I think he did that last week against Florida. And um, he's really a guy that knows their offense, and they give him kind of more receivers to go to other than the pass. Sometimes they had some dead sides, but this way they have more um, more outlets for Nico because he, uh, he is great at escaping the pocket and making plays downfield. You talked about what to tell the young guys to expect in a game like this. Uh, in a rivalry game, in this type of environment where there's a lot of passion, kind of, we saw it in the end of the first half of the Georgia game, there's there a lot of energy, a little bit of a scrum. Yeah. Kind of, in a game like this, how do you balance passion and emotion, but also kind of playing with maturity and maybe reining it in? Right. Um, that's an emphasis that we've been talking about too, as well, just controlling our emotions and uh, honing in on our assignment. I think if we all um, just get home and do our job and uh, not let external things factor in and uh, affect us, we'll, we'll be okay. But definitely with their tempo of their offense, we're going to be getting back to the ball anyway. So, yeah. How tough is this offense to defend and how, how much do you have to excel, I guess, just in open space? Right. Uh, definitely tough just because they do split you so wide and it's a lot of space where, but that's where Swarm D comes in and everybody has to get to the ball. You talked last week about getting the calls in quicker. Did, do you feel like that happened this past week in South Carolina? Did that work a little better? Yeah, it definitely worked a little better. That's one thing, like I said, we always try to do um, week in and week out, come in, try to refine, see what we can do better. Zach, so you got asked this already, but are you guys finding any motivation in what happened last time you went to Tennessee? Uh, I think the guys that are were on the team last year and, well, not last year, but the last time we went that was on the team, we definitely remember that feeling. And, um, trying to put it on ourselves, give us ourselves a little responsibility of letting the guys, the younger guys and the transfers know how big this rivalry is to, to Alabama. So, 